The convention center is really here for one primary reason, and that's to bring visitors to the destination. Michael Krauss is the president and CEO of the Greater Ontario Convention and Visitors Bureau. He's one guy with a plan to make residents outside of Rancho Cucamonga and Ontario take notice of and take part in all that these cities have to offer, from their hotels, restaurants and shopping, to major events, the lifestyle and their charm. With less than two years on the job, Michael's leadership at the Visitors Bureau has helped significantly expand interest from out-of-state visitors and how much they spend when they travel to Rancho and Ontario. For instance, an event like Inlet Empire Restaurant Week brings more than $1 million to the region, and the Huck Finn Jubilee adds another $15 million. It must be made tangible. With endless indoor and outdoor attractions and 60 nearby hotels, more and more visitors are occupying the area's 6,000 rooms. In fact, the Route 66 Cruise and Reunion Weekend is expected to double in size from last year to about 300,000 tourists. And remember, we consult with these hotels and our community partners. We don't just run rampant over here. We consult with them. We get their opinions and their views. When do they need our help? When do they need more of a push from us? Michael, tell me what the experience has been for you up to this point. I would say that I've been most pleasantly surprised by the support I've gotten. Not only did I have unanimous support for the development of the Visitor and Convention Bureau and its funding model, from the hotel community, but I also had incredible political support and partnership with both the cities of Rancho and Ontario. They came together in a collaborative style. So Michael, tell me how your role changed from the time you started to right now. Has it expanded from what you, your original vision? As far as changing my direction, I had no clue when I walked in here that I would ever, in less than two years, be able to get the funding that we needed to do these things through the hotel partnerships, but I never thought we'd be able to rebrand, create you know, all these events and, and, and improve sales and hotels would grow in occupancy and rate in less than two years. I never thought in a million years that would happen. Events like Restaurant Week help further promote new and established businesses like Brio Restaurant here at Victoria Gardens. It also gives the Convention and Visitors Bureau a civic sense of pride knowing their hard work is really making a difference. While I was sitting there in Brio, I noticed this table of ladies. Well, each lady either had an advertising piece I had done from the newspaper or had a card that we had produced or a mailer we had done. I said, how did you hear about us? How are you doing this? She says, well, we have been going down the list of restaurants in your ad and we've been, we, eat, we each take a turn picking the restaurant that we want to try. This was their fourth restaurant visit in the one week. So they had gone each day to a new restaurant from Restaurant Week promotion that we had created. So that's the goal. The goal is to get people to try new things. And perhaps they wouldn't be able to afford it if we didn't have the special pricing that Restaurant Week provides. With the two cities combined, the growth in tourists plus their spending dollars add up to an explosion in new jobs created, a total of nearly 1,000 and counting. In less than two years on the job, Michael's vision has exceeded even his biggest hopes. He's helped strategically thrust these once sleepy towns outside of Los Angeles into the spotlight. In a state where the population is nearly 40 million, both Rancho and Ontario are quickly becoming increasingly popular tourists and visitors' destinations in California. But unlike Route 66 Cruise and Reunion next month, Michael's nowhere close to feeling like he can cruise. As is the case for most visionaries, Michael's not slowing down his search for reasons to further drive visitors to the cities of Rancho Cucamonga, Ontario, and the Inland Empire region. We're looking for more, by the way, so if anybody has any great ideas, we want to hear them. Um, but remember, unique and different is the key. If it's not unique and different, it won't drive visitors. So it can't be being done everywhere else. So give me your ideas, I'll take them. 
For more information on all upcoming events, check out their website and social media. From Rancho Cucamonga, I'm Tiffany Carter for RC Spotlight.